And it was a long day, Joanne and Jeff, and the jurors were taking notes through most of it. And one of the most interesting parts today was seeing Sandra Lane on that video in the back of a scout car. Can I have a drink of water? Please. Did you get to the police station? We'll let you. Okay. Well, we're going to be taking you to the police station right now. Thank you. Can, I, can I talk to my husband or somebody? He's here right now, okay? If you were trying to find him. When do you hear from about John, you will call me. And while handcuffed in the back of the scout car, Sandra Lane asked about her grandson, a 17-year-old who called 911 himself after being shot. And prosecutors say his grandmother didn't stop until she shot him six times. I'm going to die. On May 18th at 527, a 110-pound 17-year-old boy calls a 911 dispatcher and begs for help. Oakland County Chief Assistant Prosecutor Paul Walton told the jury that 74-year-old Sandra Lane continued to shoot her teenage grandson even after he called 911 for help. Who shot you? My grandma. My grandma shot me. And the dispatcher who talked to 17-year-old Jonathan Hoffman that day cried on the stand as she recalled his 911 call. Boy said that he was shot by his grandmother. Grandparents. Two minutes and 47 seconds into this call, Sandra Lane walks up to her grandson and shoots him again. In their opening statement to the jury, prosecutors told the jury that 17-year-old Jonathan tested positive for the dangerous drug known as spice. But the spice was in his urine, not his blood. The spice has been metabolized. It is having no effect on him. But the defense told jurors that Jonathan Hoffman was angry after testing positive for spice and that his grandmother wanted to confront him but was so scared how he might react, she grabbed her handgun. She goes up to the bedroom, she walks in the room, and there's an argument in the room, and he kicks her in the chest and she shoots. He grabs her and there's a struggle. They go downstairs. She doesn't remember how many times she shot him in the bedroom. They go downstairs. There's some more shooting. And coming up at 6 o'clock, you'll see more of Sandra Lane in the back of that police scout car. And you'll see police photos taken after the defense claims she was kicked in the chest by her grandson as they struggled. All of that coming up and more at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Pontiac, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back to you. Kim, remind us where the boy's parents were while all this was going on. They were in Arizona is what our understanding is. When this was happening, he, uh, the, the grandson was actually living with Sandra Lane and her husband. The defense contends that he was there because he was a troubled teen and in an alternate, alternative school because he needed help. Back to you. All right, Kimberly, thank you. Testimony will resume on Thursday. Tomorrow, the court has some other business to take care of. The trial of Sandra Lane is expected to take two weeks.